I just finished watching Scream 1. It was so good. I remembered who the killer was, but I definitely like missed some things or forgot some things. Um, it actually came out December 18th, 1996. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, it's like a lifetime ago. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with that. I painted my nails and I thought Big Brother was on tonight. I'm used to it being like Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, but I guess this season it's Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So that's the new vibe, but um, Love Island premieres tonight at 10 p.m. So I think I'm going to um, watch my video through one more time, my vlog for tomorrow, and then I'm going to gear up to watch Love Island. And then that is officially a wrap on day number five of Summerween, and I will see you guys in the morning to begin day number six. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day six of Summerween. Let's talk reading plans for today. So while I was eating breakfast, I was flipping through Louisa Now and Then by Carol Morell, and I made it to page 90. 
one. This is not my focus today, but um, I'm already quite enjoying it. It's basically a sci-fi time travel um, where you have Louisa in the past as a teenager and the future Louisa like 17 years later. And young Louisa time travels somehow to Paris to her older self's time. Um, and I'm just interested to see how that all plays out but that's not my focus today my focus today is beach house by rl stein sadly this is the last point horror that i own but i'm definitely going to be getting some more because i've just had so much fun with each book in the series i'm hoping that i like this one a little bit more than beach party and i have heard people that have read both they prefer this one over beach party so excited to hear that i heard that this one is a little bit more nuanced. This one is 210 pages so I should be able to get through it fairly quickly. Of course I'm reading all of these physically. There's no like audiobooks for these but also they're just like really really short. So yeah I'm gonna be reading this. Let's go ahead and get our day started and then I will update you with any thoughts that I have. Yeah look a little reading update on Beach House um, part one it starts in summer of 1956 and the 50s vibes are strong the magazines the music the fashion everything and basically you have like two girls and a couple of guys and they're pranking buddy they pants them in the ocean so he doesn't have his swimming trunks and Maria doesn't have a boyfriend and she had promised promised Buddy that she would go out with him that night, but um, Stuart convinces her to ditch him and go out with him instead. So she does. And then the next day she goes, her and Amy, they go to um, back to the beach and it's kind of like a gray overcast day and Buddy runs out and sees them and she is lying to him saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I was sick last night and he says, no problem. Like, let's go swimming. And Amy has to babysit her little sister. So she has to take off and Maria's like, I don't know. It doesn't look like that great of a day. Um, I don't want to go swimming. I'm not that great of a swimmer and he convinces her anyway she goes and i don't know what it is about these girls <laughs> i mean if you can't if you're not a strong swimmer like you should never go in the ocean the ocean is literally the most unpredictable place to go swimming but anyway she goes out there and it's super foggy and she gets turned around and then buddy is acting really sketch and i almost thought it was going to be a dream the way it was happening with the with the overcast and the gray water and the gray sky and all of that and he was just i was like this has got to be a dream right but anyway he ditches her he he leaves her out there he cuts her and there are sharks around and then he's escaping back to his beach house which is the beach house right here on the cover and which i want to stay in that beach house but anyway um he escapes back there and left maria out there in the water and then later her friends are like looking for her and the police are called and you know they're all explaining like yeah it was her and buddy and they're like well where does he live we need to go talk to him and she's like over over in that beach house so they go to the beach house and it's abandoned no one is there so it says but we saw him come out of this house amy protested marie and i this morning so yeah her name's amy yeah buddy told us he was staying here ronnie told the policeman barrett narrowed his eyes and scowled at them buddy lied oh so and now i am in part two um let me flip it around part two this summer so i don't know what summer that is i wish they would have like put a year but it was published was it 92 um so maybe you know they're talking about <laughs> 1992 um yeah 1992 so maybe they're talking about the summer of 1992 but yeah anyway i'm going into part two and we'll see what's in store so far i am really liking it um what people were saying about rl stein describing people is really like exactly what he does. Maria adjusted her ponytail, tugging at the rubber band that held it. She had straight silky black hair, which she 
almost always kept swept back in a ponytail with bangs cut straight across her forehead an inch above her dramatic brown eyes <laughs> so he really does like let you know what the characters look like but anyway I'm gonna jump back in and I will update you I mean so far I'm enjoying this like so much more um because like I said that scene in the ocean with the sharks and just like how he was acting to her I was like oh my god please let this be a dream but it doesn't look like it was so yeah all right jumping into part two let's go all right friends I'm here with a reading update of Beach House I just made it to part three now and um so in the this summer timeline you're following obviously a whole new set of characters um Ashley Kip what is it Kip and Lucy and Ashley and Ross and Denny and Ashley seemed like the main character in that section. She's dating Ross and then Lucy and Kip are dating each other and Denny is just this other guy that they know. Oh, but there's also this other guy. Um, I forget his name, but anyway, they're all like friends hanging out. I think Kip is the only townie. Everybody else just like comes in for the summer and um, the beach house is still there. It's um, I guess no one's lived there. It's just always been vacant and um, a couple of them break in. Ross and Ashley and then when they break in Lucy and Kip are there also um, and the house is still decorated like the 50s but you know nobody's there. It's kind of like old and worn. The deck is falling apart. It's like dry rotted and stuff and the inside is like really gross. Um, but then at the end of this part now it says it's Lucy and Kip. Ross said his chin trembly. They didn't come home last night. They've both disappeared and now I'm going back to the summer of 1956. So I think it's going to flip back and forth between timelines and just kind of trying to solve it. I am just loving the vibes, loving the summer atmosphere, loving the nostalgic like pop culture references, Vanilla Ice, Matt Damon, like Coke and MTV and like other things like that. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So we'll see with the whole mystery part, how that works, but so far so good, really enjoying it. And I'm already on page um, 81. Okay, so I'm on page 189. I'm literally like about to finish this and I'm just like, what is going on? I'm really, really enjoying this one, you guys. It really depends on these last few pages, four or five stars, but I'm just really enjoying this one. Oh my God.
Okay friends, I had to go outside and talk to my friend Nikki for a little bit and it's 103, 104 degrees out there. So very, very hot outside, but I finished Beach House. As you guys saw, I thought the ending was not my favorite. It was good though. I think if you like those tropes, then you'll like this book a lot, but I'm rating it four stars because I really liked the entire story. I liked both timelines. I liked the characters. I liked the connection of characters. I thought it was super atmospheric, super nostalgic, and just like perfectly paced. It was so much fun. So it takes place in the 1950s and then like current day. Remember, this was published in 1992. Um, so it says summer 1956 and then this summer. So who knows when that summer actually was. I was assuming 1992, but um, so in 1956, there's a group of friends and then someone ends up like disappearing supposedly they died because they were like never found and like two people kind of went missing the one they they guessed that they died or whatever and then in the present day other strange things start happening other people are dying you flip back and forth between the two timelines um i didn't see the ending coming i was truly shocked by what was going on um because of the two different, vastly different timelines, like 40 years apart or whatever like that. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this one. I'm rating it four stars. So this one and Fun House both got four stars for me. I'm very, very excited about that. And it has me excited to pick up more point horror. I just ordered Trick or Treat, The Nightmare Man, and The Fall. friends that is a wrap on day six of summerween i just finished watching scream 2 and i really really enjoyed it we love a slasher set on a college campus but i think i liked scream 1 better they're almost like even but if i had to choose I would choose this one. Anyway, I did manage to read Beach House today and I'm rating it four out of five stars because I just thought it was super fun. I liked the dual timeline. I like that each timeline had its own set of like teenagers and they were hanging out at the beach and crazy things were happening and it was just overall a really fun time. Um, I liked that it was like nuanced. There were like layers to the story. Now, I wasn't a fan of like the ending, but at the same time, I can appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm giving it four stars. So, but yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed Summerween day number six. Hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.